We have covered the basics of opening up an airway with a head tilt chin lift. We've done jaw thrust. We've done modified jaw thrust. We placed oxygen tanks together. We put the regulator on them. We've identified what an E and a D cylinder are. We have placed oral and nasal pharyngeal airways in our patient. We have applied nasal cannulas, non nerd breathers to the patients, and we've showed you how to hook up a bag valve mask device to the pay for a patient, as well as hooking up suction units and applying suction to our patients when they absolutely need them. Now comes the time in which, when do we utilize all these skills? Because I, I find that it's a lot of times it's just, you're overwhelmed with everything that we have. So how in the world are we gonna see it? As adult learners, we all know that we have to be able to figure out when we're going to apply these things, okay? So we'll run you through a quick, quick little scenario that you may see again. Something tells me that when you finish up an EMT program, this might be something that you might be evaluated on, okay? So we have our patient who is lying here, and I come in and I notice that my scene has been safe. Um, there appears to be no, not, no danger to me or my crew. There's no dogs, there's nobody with guns or knives around. And actually, I find this patient who is laying on the ground. I shake and check responsiveness, and I call for additional EMS because I have a patient who is now unresponsive, and it's just me and my partner. Okay, so I have uh, checked responsiveness, and I notice that the patient does not appear to be breathing. And because of CAB, I want to go with circulation, airway, and breathing. I'm checking for the carotid pulse, and I note that there is a carotid pulse, but the patient does not appear to be breathing. Now, as I open up his airway, I note that there are secretions inside the airway. So at this point, before I do anything else, I need to clear those out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take my non-kink yank hour tubing. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll pretend that I've turned that on. So you would hear that. And we're now going to measure this. I have now measured this. I have my device on. I'm now suctioning. I've now cleared the airway, I'm flushing my line, I turn it off, I recheck my airway and I note that my patient is not breathing. So at this point, I am going to go ahead and measure my oral airway. That one appears a little bit too big. This one appears to be just right. We're going to go ahead and insert my oral airway. I'm going to obtain my bag valve mask device. I apply the CE clamp technique and I ventilate him one breath every six seconds. I notice that I'm getting great chest rise, but I need to make sure that I can hook him up to oxygen. So I'm going to take a few seconds here. I'm going to apply to oxygen. Again, I'm checking to make sure that my chest is rising, which shows that I have effective ventilation. That should do it. Um, good luck to you, and I hope that this video has helped you out. And for those of you that are my students, we will see you in the lab in which we're going to apply all of these things.